Ms. Patricia, yes. Thanks for speaking with us. So let's start off with uh, what's brought you here this time to China and what's the main reason behind your trip this time? Well, um, I'm the CEO of Visit Britain, the tourist board for Britain, um, and our purpose is to grow tourism to the nations and regions of Britain. So we want to encourage more Chinese visitors to come to Britain to stay longer explore more and just have amazing experiences. So here I am to talk to other government agencies to learn by listening to Chinese media and, and what the environment is at the moment and the appetite of consumers is and the partners that we might work with in China. And speaking of like the appetite with the potential of this market, data suggests that some 130 million Chinese visitors will travel international in the year of 2024 this year and that's some 50 percent increase compared to that number last year in 2023 so uh, how much of a potential in terms of capturing this portion of Chi Chinese outbound tourists? Well Chinese visitors used to be our second most valuable market and we can see that there is good growth going um, good airline seats growth coming into regional airports and we say that, that by Next year, we will be up to China being our third most valuable market, worth about two billion pounds to the economy. And if you look longer term, you know, the traditional markets for Britain are America and Europe, but tourism growth is undoubtedly the case, will come from this region and it will be led by, by, by China. So the confidence is still here? The, absolutely, the confidence here and the appetite for travel is still here. Yes, many of those 130 million will travel regionally, but once people look to traveling outside the region, we know that Britain is top of their aspiration list. Mm -hmm. And speaking of that, actually the country, China, is also uh, continues to easing uh, entry requirements for international visitors. So what signals does that uh, send out to, like, to, to global well, I, I think, too, it, it makes it practically easier because you can stay here now for about five days without a visa. It also shows that a country is serious about tourists and, and welcomes them coming. So to balance that need for any country to keep their borders secure, but to make sure visitors feel really welcome. And it's, it's a very positive step from China. But again... Um in recent years, in more recent years, especially during pandemic, that we saw an uptick in crimes targeting at Asian communities in Europe or America, including the UK. How should Chinese tourists feel about it when coming to you know, visiting the UK? I would be very saddened to think that any Chinese visitor would have concerns about visiting the UK. I've got a Chinese daughter-in-law. She lives in London. She walks around London with no concerns about security. Um, so we are a safe destination. Yes, there might have been concerns in COVID, but goodness, those days are long gone. And, and British industry and communities really want to welcome Chinese visitors and to see them in our, in our cities and countryside again. There are sensible things that I would say to any traveler going to any destination. You know, be, be careful with your mobile phones and, and keep an eye out where you're, where you're going. Um, we give uh, tourists information beforehand. We produce amazing content to help guide uh, tourists to some of the lesser known um, regions of Britain. Obviously, if people get into difficulties, then that's a matter for that their hotels can help them and contact the police if that, if that is necessary. But really, don't come to Britain with that as your expectation. It's not the case.